What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado. This is Torado Racing. Uh, today we're doing a little bit more of a daily vlog. Normally I just show you guys like all the meat and potatoes and I figured I would take you on a little ride along of my days consisting of. So far, nothing's going as planned, but that's all right. I'm here at a San Marcos, Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge because I need the clips for this lower wide body flare, the one on the back. And I've always said I'm a professional Googler. I can pretty much find anything on Google with enough searching, um, but I could not find the correct clips for that flare, no matter how much research I did. These guys were kind enough and to give you some part numbers for some clips, but they don't have them in stock, which is a bummer. Cause I gotta go to the next city over, gotta get gas, uh, to see if they have them. Cause they have these two style clips in stock. There's another style clip that they had in their system, but I know for a fact it wasn't that one cause that was the only clip that had a picture and that's the one for the bigger flares, not for the smaller flare. So that's where I'm headed now. I'm going from San Marcos, headed to New Braunfels, Dodge to see if they have these two clips. Uh, keep looking away because this is beautiful uh, hydro blue. I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. T Rex in front of me. God, but I love these trucks. Look how beautiful that is. I'll tell you, those T Rexes look freaking sick in person, especially when they start getting on the gas. They sound wicked so anyways i'm going to uh, new Braunfels. see if they have these clips if they don't i've already got an idea of how i'm going to mount these things and i might even be sturdier some plastic clips but for now i'm going to try to exhaust all options and get these clips uh, all right guys no luck but that's all right i'm gonna end up using some uh nut certs rib nuts because like, nobody can figure out what the heck goes back here. So not to worry about it. I need to get back to the house and start working on the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle what I know I can do. And that's gonna be the uh, window seals, uh, the door seals, uh, rivet some of the uh, fender liners back in place. There's a couple little things the rear bumper needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock all that small stuff out. And then I'll go ahead and start messing with the bumper. And then we'll start messing with this flare. But I guess that's what happens when you're piecing together a non-OEM car by yourself, right? You don't have the help of a dealership or a, a body shop or uh, whatever it may be, right? The car didn't come OEM, wide body, we're making it that way. Um, so it's a little difficult, especially at Dodge dealerships. If you guys don't know this, when you go in there, the first thing they ask you for is a VIN number when you're looking for parts. That doesn't really help me because my car's from 09. So when I give them a VIN number, <laughs> those parts don't even pop up for the wide body. So then I gotta explain like, you know, that's why I brought the part with me. Like, hey guys, like this is what I'm looking for. And uh, the guys over at San Marcos were helpful to, you know, dig into it and see what they could find, but they were the wrong clips. No harm, no foul. Let's head back to the house and get to work. All right guys, we're back in the uh, the grip house, the grip garage. I only say that because got all these stack of tires and pretty much we just build grip cars around here. So back in the house, I already got the Challenger pulled out. It's already like 98 degrees because the sun rises right in front of my house. So it just beams down on me. So basically what I'm doing is putting this trim piece back on and I've got to rivet it in place. So hopefully I'm showing this right. Yeah. So I got to rivet this in place and then we can put the window seal in here and it comes all the way uh, down here. So basically that's what I'm doing. Then I'm going to, uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put some more of these little plastic uh, rivets that we had a break to get the fender liners and stuff out uh, underneath the bumper. I know I'm missing a screw up here on the rear tail lamp uh, assembly. So it's like a lot of little tiny loose ends from when we blew the car apart to get it painted. So that's what I'm taking care of today. Other little things, one of my exhaust tips is crooked, kind of looks like ass. So I want to go ahead and fix that kind of stuff. Now, I haven't put the door panels on because I'm pretty sure my driver uh, six by nine door speaker is blown. I mean, it rattles like, like no tomorrow, right? Um, and I'm wondering if it's, I've tried diagnosing it. I've been wondering if it's something in the door, but I, I mean, I've reached all up in there and I can't find anything that's loose. So I think it's the speaker itself. So I'm gonna swap because they're pretty much the same. 
the speaker from the passenger door, put it in the driver door, play some music and see if the rattle goes away. Now, if it is the speaker, I'm gonna go ahead and put the passenger door back together, but the driver door, I'm gonna have to order a speaker. Now, I know they are the Boston Acoustics speakers that came with this car. Can't find them, right? Not from Dodge anyway, so I might even upgrade to upgrade to the Harman Kardon system that comes with the newer uh, model challengers or see if I can find the kicker audio system that uh, these cars came with. My 06 SRT Charger had the kicker. So if I can get my hands on that, throw those puppies in here. But for now, let's go ahead and start with those uh, loose ends. Other thing, this freaking roof molding right here, this orange one, um, it's supposed to be black. So I want to replace it with a black one. And that's something else I went to the dealership to look for. And it is pretty much the same price online and online has it in stock and the dealership doesn't have it in stock. Um, none of the dealerships have it in stock because there was all this hail that came through Central Texas and a lot of hail repair involved ripping these off, fixing the roofs and reinstalling them. So anyways, let me get started and quit blabbing. Wow guys, it is in fact so hot. <laughs> it's only like 10 in the morning. I ended up putting up my little canopy so I could put this weather strip seal in. And uh, it wasn't very easy. Just gotta really muscle it in. And uh, when I started working on it, it was just so freaking hot that I had to stop and put the sunshade up because I was sweating like crazy. I had to change my shirt too. Um, but anyways, I got the, well, on both sides, I riveted in the bracket and then on the driver's side, I just put the uh, weather strip back in. So all I gotta do left now is do the passenger side, but I gotta move my sunshade over there. Now here's the driver's side weather strip. You've really got to push that thing in. I mean, it is not easy, especially this back corner right here. It's the headliner right there, but that back corner is really tough to get in, but it pretty much falls right into place. Nothing too difficult. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side. There's such a difference being underneath this canopy versus being in the sun right there in that little spot. So, all right, update. Got the passenger door seal in, nice and tight. Remove the rear wheel, tire, and went ahead and put the two plastic rivets there. Gotta trim this little end pieces here, as you can see. It's nice and sturdy. And went ahead and put the plastic rivets here. Don't mind all my tire for my burnouts. But same thing, I'm gonna trim these ends right here. And uh, the rear is done here. Then all I've got to do is uh, the front, got to do the same thing as this right there. Um, I'm running out of the bigger plastic rivet, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and order some more. That's the only bummer. All right, fast forward a few hours because I couldn't find two little nuts for the freaking diffuser. Not a big problem. I went ahead and removed the uh, front grill from the Vicrez bumper, and it looks like it's gonna fit the OEM one, so that's what I'm about to install right now. I was really worried about that uh, not fitting because that would have meant that I needed to order the OEM one with the Vikers one swapped perfectly over. No issues, everything clipped right into place. Need to go ahead and put on the hood seal that goes on the top right there. Got some plastic grips for that and then swap the lower grill and get some hardware into this lower lip right here so it doesn't move. And then we'll install the bumper and then we'll put the flares on on the side. So, yeah, really happy, almost done. Wow, guys, I feel like I just ran an ultra marathon. Now, I've never actually ran an ultra marathon, but if I did, I imagine this is what it feels like. I'm freaking exhausted. Don't make fun of me, Bear. Check it out. Worked for about the last three hours and time just flew by. I mean, when you put your head down and start working, time flies by. Let me show you guys what I did. All right, there's the new OEM wide body front bumper, uh, completely done. Got all the hardware in it. Uh, took the grill from the Vicrez bumper and it matched perfectly. I'm starting to think that that grill is actually just an OEM. Same thing with the bottom ones, they're just OEM Mopar grills because all of it lined up and snapped right into place. Swapped over the hood seal, put all the plastic rivets in. You see I gotta trim that one, but they're all in there. And here's the uh, old bumper. It's officially gonna be some wall art. 
so I don't know what to do with it. All right, so I am gonna back the car up in here tonight, so I just decided to put the bolts uh, loose just to hold the diffuser up, but I do need to find two nuts for two of the brackets that go in the middle, so I don't wanna be driving around without that. Um, I still need to put the plastic rivets and the liner in the back. And as you can see on the rocker panel, and the same thing in the front. And then I'll go ahead and throw the front bumper on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that stuff right now. Honestly, I'm probably gonna start with the front bumper just because I did all that work and I just wanna put it on the front of the car. So let me do that. All right guys, there it is, bumpers on. Nice clean lines, all new brackets. Splitter, splitter looking real nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and put some nuts that go up here. All the little plastic rivets that go up there. There, there's one more 10 mil that goes back here in the corners. But yep, front bumper's finally on. Feels good. She looks the same, just with cleaner lines. Didn't show you like a step-by-step -step on how to put the front bumper together because it was actually the same as the Vicrez uh, front bumper. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to that video right up here somewhere and I'll link it down below as well. So if you guys wanna see how to put the bumper together, it's the exact same. All right guys, so spent a few hours again, went ahead and got everything put together. Uh, forgot to mention that I did order the closeout cover piece here for the wide body. Um, and everything lined up perfectly. You can see I put all the plastic rivets where they belong and then I went ahead and put the front splitter on from MFR Engineering. The problem is my rods broke when I was taking them off. They were just old and brittle and as I went to unscrew them, they just snapped. I mean like, like just like dust. So I need new rods. This one snapped too. First that one broke and I was like, hmm, maybe it was a fluke. Went to this one and it just snapped clean off. Uh, so need new splitter rods, but got everything nice and tight. Let me step back. Got her on hover mode. So I'm gonna wrap it up for today. The only thing I didn't get to was riveting that in the rear and the fender liner on this side. I do need to go ahead and get some bolts for the front here because the folks, the plastic rivets do not reach back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some hardware to put in through there. And that one right there, and you can just remove this lower splash guard and you can reach up under there and tighten everything. Same thing with this closeout cover for the front lip. I went ahead and put my own hardware and uh, tighten it up because I have no idea what part numbers those are. Actually, I just realized you can't even see that. But anyways, I put two uh, stainless steel screws and nuts uh, right there. And I use the nylon locking nuts so they don't back out. And that's pretty much it for the front end of the wide body conversion. I have not gotten to the interior yet. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these seats out. Uh, my rear seat delete is unseated back there. I need to go ahead and fix that. I just need to vacuum out the entire interior and then I'm gonna go ahead and mess with these speakers right here. All right guys, so that's um, still the same day. I uh, decided to wrap it up after I finished that front bumper. Um, was out there pretty much the entire day and just got kind of wore out. So I decided to just uh, stop and uh, have dinner with Ashley. So that's what I'm doing now. She was at this uh, football game, soccer game. She was at the soccer game uh, and I'm just picking her up uh, here in Austin. Uh, and I know she wants some crab legs. So we're gonna go eat some crab legs and I am freaking starving. I pretty much just drank tons of water and just ate a little bit of snack so I wouldn't, you know, when you eat, it's hot and you get like slowed down because you're all full and everything. So I just drank a ton of water and just ate a few snacks throughout the day. So I'm ready to have some dinner right now. But all right guys, that is it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Um, I appreciate the questions. I appreciate you guys reaching out to me. If you're new to the channel, um, I, I answer all my DMs uh, and I usually prefer Instagram DMs because they're usually questions about how I do something and I'll just, 
do a video on it real quick to show you like, hey, this is how I did it. And it's a lot easier than comments, but you guys know what to do. If you like these videos, leave a comment below, hit that like button. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, peace out.